On September 11, 2001, America faced an unprecedented crisis that would forever change its history. In this gripping 10-part series, we take you inside the events that unfolded aboard Air Force One as President George W. Bush and his team navigated the chaos of that fateful day. From the shocking first moments of the attacks to the controversial decisions made in the air, this series offers a detailed look at the tension, uncertainty, and challenges faced by the nation's highest leaders. Join us as we explore the untold stories of courage, vulnerability, and leadership that defined the response to one of the most significant events in modern history. Explore the morning of September 11, 2001, as President Bush begins what appears to be an ordinary day. He is en route to an elementary school in Florida, unaware of the looming disaster. This episode sets the stage, contrasting the routine presidential duties with the impending chaos. Highlight the moment the first plane hits the North Tower at 8.46 a.m., and how the world's focus shifts to New York City. This episode will end with the chilling realization that something is terribly wrong. Drawing viewers into the narrative of one of the most significant days in modern history. Dive into the critical moments after the first crash, as news channels begin covering the incident. Despite widespread media attention, President Bush remains unaware of the full scale of the situation. That changes dramatically at 9.03 a.m., when United Flight 175 strikes the South Tower, confirming that the United States is under attack. This episode captures the shock and confusion in the President's circle, as they grapple with the reality of a coordinated assault on American soil. The episode will focus on the tension and urgency that starts to build within the president's team. As the situation escalates, President Bush's team makes the quick decision to cut short the school visit. Air Force One is prepared for an emergency return to Washington, D.C., but security concerns force a change in plans. This episode will chronicle the frantic moments of planning and the uncertainty surrounding the president's safety. With the Pentagon attack unfolding at 9.43 a.m., the episode will explore the logistical and strategic challenges faced by the Secret Service and senior officials in protecting the president during an unprecedented national crisis. This episode focuses on the growing concern over United Flight 93, which has been hijacked and is believed to be heading towards Washington, D.C. Detail the passengers' heroic efforts to retake control of the plane and how their actions prevented further devastation by crashing the plane in Pennsylvania at 10.03 a.m. Highlight the impact of this event on the decisions being made aboard Air Force One and how it influenced the broader response to the attacks. The episode will underscore the courage of the passengers and the implications of their sacrifice. Explore the tense and controversial moment when Vice President Cheney authorized the military to shoot down any hijacked planes posing a threat. Examine the legality and implications of this decision, made without direct approval from President Bush. This episode delves into the moral and ethical dilemmas faced by leaders during a crisis and the lasting controversy surrounding Cheney's order. It will also highlight the communication challenges that contributed to the confusion in the high stakes involved in making such a critical decision. Chronicle Air Force One's unexpected landing at Barksdale Air Force Base in Louisiana for refueling, before heading to Offutt Air Force Base in Nebraska. Explore the reasons behind these decisions, including the need for a secure location and advanced communication facilities. This episode will provide insight into the security protocols and precautions taken to protect the president, as well as the atmosphere of unease and urgency on board the plane. The episode will also reflect on the importance of leadership during uncertain times. Examine the heightened security concerns during the president's flights. This episode will explore the fears that Air Force One itself could be a target, especially after a call indicated that Angel is next, referring to the code name for Air Force One. Discuss how this insider threat led to extraordinary security measures on board. 
The episode will focus on the challenges of ensuring the president's safety in the air and the intense pressure faced by the Secret Service and military personnel tasked with protecting him. Highlight the communication issues faced throughout the day, as Air Force One's normally reliable telephone lines became unreliable. This episode will delve into the difficulties in maintaining contact with the White House, where Vice President Cheney was coordinating the response from a secure bunker. Discuss the broader implications of these communication challenges and how they affected the decision-making process. The episode will illustrate how the events of 9-11 exposed vulnerabilities in the nation's emergency communication systems. Document the final leg of President Bush's journey, as Air Force One departs from Offutt Air Force Base in Nebraska, heading back to Washington, D.C. This episode will cover the intense security measures taken during this flight and the relief of finally returning to the Capitol. Explore the emotions and decisions made during this long, tense journey, and how the President prepared to address the nation from the Oval Office. The episode will capture the significance of the moment when the President finally arrives back in Washington. Conclude the series by reflecting on the lessons learned from the events of September 11, 2001, particularly regarding Air Force One's role and the security protocols that were tested that day. This episode will discuss the changes implemented in the following years to improve safety and communication, ensuring that the nation is better prepared for future crises. The episode will also address the lasting impact of 9-11 on the nation and the world, and how it reshaped global security and the responsibilities of leadership in times of crisis. Watching. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe to my channel for more great content.